Good morning, everybody. How y'all doing on this hump day Wednesday? This is just going to be an open topic, man. I'm talking about a little bit of everything, man. Appreciate for the views, my subscribers. Um, I got at the bottom of the, this video, I, my cash app link going on there. I'm going to put, I'm going to start putting it on there. So I'm sorry. So if any of y'all try to donate to the channel, man, I got to put my, my cash app, um, deal one at the bottom down there. I finna start putting it on there. My bad. It's just going to be an open topic, man, about a lot of stuff that's been going on here lately. I just want to appreciate y'all, man, for, like I said, subscribing to my channel. Salute to y'all, man. Appreciate it. Let's get into this, the baby, man. I was looking at this article on TV yesterday, man. They trying to cancel this man out. I don't see nothing that he did wrong. I mean, nothing. No more than any other rapper do, especially the old older rappers who get on stage and say say the stuff that he he said. I don't really know exactly what he had said. Something about HIV or AIDS or some stuff, but. Anyway, it ain't enough to cancel the man's shows, man. We should have freedom of speech to say and do what we want to do, man. But you got this rapper named Lil Nas X. He can get on get on social media and talking about he want to get butt naked in front of your kids for charity money. But nobody ain't canceling him. That's what I be talking about, how we living in a backwards world, man. And they glorify pedophilia. And I ain't, and, um, I don't understand how come nobody ain't, number one, I don't know why this man ain't in jail, man. If you get on TV and talking like that and doing some of the stuff he doing, number one, I feel like he should be thrown off TV, in jail, but you got this man over here, the baby, they want to cancel him about dumb shit. That every rapper done did on stage, especially the old school rappers. This world is so mixed up, man, and, and they using these celebrities to glorify this. It's like a, it's an agenda. It ain't like it's an agenda. It's an agenda. They pushing a lot of stuff, man, and they using the celebrities because you know what? They they know that a lot of kids like Lil Nas X, man. They know that, and they falling behind this man because he done made one of the biggest songs in the world. And, and kids look up to this dude, man. But do you want your child looking up to a man that say he want to get naked on stage and perform in front of your kids for charity? Come on, man. Come on. It's got to be better than that, man. It's some sick stuff going on in the world. I don't understand how y'all want to stop a man just just another. Well, it ain't just on him. It's Lil Boosie, too. This man can't even speak out the freedom of We probably to have freedom of speech. He can't even say what he want to say and voice his own opinion. Opinion and facts have been the, one of the number one topics here lately. How people can't say what they want, say how they feel. Sometimes you ain't even got to cuss. You can just just truly show, um, say how you feel coming from your heart. This is what you believe. This is what you stand on. It's your opinion. You shouldn't get canceled just by voicing your opinion. You might have 10 people agree with it. Then you might have 10 people that don't agree with it. That's why it's called an opinion. 
Man, the world just ain't just ain't fair, bro. It just ain't fair. It ain't right. It ain't fair. And us black people, man, we ought to be ashamed of ourselves, man. Some of the shit that we we doing now, some of us that's doing, we never would did this years ago. Some of this shit is unheard of from the black community. Now you can't even talk about the white people because some of the black folks doing just as much as the white people. But it's an agenda that they pushing. That's why we can't unite as black people and get get come together and try to make a change. Because we've been the white man done broke us up. Y'all done let the white man broke us up. Let me rephrase that. He can only do what y'all allow him to do. And y'all, most of y'all black people don't allow the man, you sell sell yourself out for money. They use us black people to tear other black people down. Because a black person know how to talk to another black person because they know a black person and gentle. So the white man uses the black person to go talk to these black people to turn them down. But sometimes it don't even take that. We just tear each other down. Can't stand to see another black person got something. You can show you a per, a black person can could know the way to to come get successful. You don't even want to show the black man or black woman how you got there. Cause you don't you don't got a piece of the pie, you don't want nobody else to have a piece of the pie. Crab in the bucket ass niggas. That's what I call it. We so broken up, man. We can't even depend on the white people to put no bill to protect us. Because we we too broken up. We don't even stand together. As much as we've been through, the black community that I've been through, man, white bond should be so tight. White man shouldn't be able to tell us nothing, man. We the only group of people that ain't got no bill to protect us through genocide, all of this stuff, racial profile, everything. And some people might be thinking I'm being racist, but I can't even be racist by definition because I don't control nothing, man. That's what it says in the, in the dictionary. I don't control nothing. I don't make no changes. But in order to make changes, it's going to take just me. It's going to take more than just a handful of people. It's going to take a whole community. A lot of these celebrities, the ones that everybody look up to, them the ones that should be out there fighting, like some of the pastors and stuff. We don't have no pastors to come speak up when this stuff happened, all this police brutality. They don't never speak out. We, we, we had them back then, but they don't speak out now, man. When something happened, only one that step up now is Al Sharpton, and you know he ain't even for the black community. He only sent, they only sent him out there to cool us down when we start when they start tearing up a whole bunch of stuff so he can talk to the black community because he know his people. That's what I was telling y'all a while ago how they use black people to tear and cool black other black people down. But y'all better stop looking up at these celebrities like they God, man. Some of y'all look up these celebrities more than the real God. I know everybody don't believe in God, but I do. And I'm talking to the ones that be that believe in God. You better not say nothing about a celebrity. Motherfucker want to fight you. And they ain't never met this person ever in their life or did nothing for him. So how could you have that much uh, anger build up to him? talking crazy to me just because I voice my opinion about a certain celebrity but you want to fight me. You don't even protect your mom and your dad and your sisters and brothers like you do these protect these celebrities. Somebody that you don't even know. 
You just listen to their music, and all of a sudden, you just love them to them. And them, them, them to be the main ones that ain't even for us, black community. Because most of them is trained. They can't even spend their money and give back to the black community. But y'all, somehow y'all want to put them on pedestals. Some of these pastors, y'all want to treat them like they gods. And they no different than me, man. No different from me. They just basically like you going to school. They, they is a teacher is all they is. And the church done got so wicked, man. That's why so many people done ran from the church because it's man, it's some there's some crazy wild stuff going on in these churches. And a lot of the black churches don't give back, man. They just wanna just take. They don't give back. It's more white churches give back. Uh, it's more white churches give back than um than black churches. They don't even want you to, um, they don't, if you come and knock on their church door or come in their church door and ask for help, most of them won't even help you, man, unless you pay some kind of tithes. And, and if you really was um, about God and love God like you say you did, you a help person, you a help person no matter what. It ain't about what you give the church. God can send somebody to your church and see where your heart is, and most of y'all nigga churches fail. Because you don't want to help nobody unless they giving you money. That ain't how it's supposed to be. You supposed to get out there and do the work, man. A lot of y'all ain't, a lot of y'all churches ain't doing the work. You see, you want to use this so-called, I'm trying to build a church and I'm trying to make the church better, but you don't see no progress in the church. You study taking from your members, but not doing nothing with your church. Your church been like that for 10 years, man. Not all, but the, most of y'all. But somehow you're driving Cadillacs and Mercedes and BMWs and Jaguars and all that kind of stuff. But you don't want to help your community. Don't want to help your community unless you paying some tithes. And it's supposed to be a man of God. That's crazy, man. That's some stuff that I ain't, I ain't never heard. Like I said, you don't come out when something happens. You don't even hear from most of y'all, man. That's just like that it happened to that young lady, man, that died in, in Texas. Where she, uh, these race soldiers had got on top of them. You got, you got one white police on top of this young lady. And I don't know how old she was. I didn't do my research on it, but I know, she, I think she was a teenager. I'm not sure, but you got one white boy on her, hauling this one young lady down. She's drooling from her mouth, can't breathe, and you got these other white motherfuckers out here, over here just sitting over there and ain't trying to say, get off of her, get off of her. They ain't trying to do nothing. Just sitting there letting them, the girl just drooling out of her mouth, man. Saying, can't even breathe. But first time one of the citizens coming in and pull this nigga off for of y'all, off of this young lady, they want to have a. They want to put a salt chart on a, a public servant. And this dude could have saved this woman' life. Thank the Lord that she didn't die, man. That was. That's what I'm talking about. With no bill put in place for us black people to protect us, we don't have no bill put in place for. That's why they keep doing this, man. If you hold these race soldiers accountable, these white boys out here just running wild. If you hold them accountable for the, the action that they do, things might will change.
But they don't get all accountable for they what they do. That's why they doing what they do. These motherfucking white boys on this law enforcement and white women get up every day. They not worried about nobody breaking in no houses. All they worried about is a nigga who ain't got no seatbelt on. And I'm saying nigga because that's how y'all, that's, that's who y'all um, aim at. Black people. Riding around with no tags. You ain't you don't care nothing about nothing else. All of the complaints that, that get brought up there, most of them get thrown away. They go through them and pick and choose which one they want to keep. Most of the complaints go in the trash, man. United States of America is a sad country, man. Now they're trying to pressure niggas to get this vaccine. What's in this vaccine? I ain't going to get too deep off in this off in this subject, man. But now they're trying to pressure you to get the vaccine. Me being in, this, in, the, in the United States of America, I ain't never saw them push the agenda on pressure with nothing. They don't even pressure the flu shot like they do in this vaccine. So what's in this shit, man? Got songs out. Then gave black people songs to do to help promote this shit. That's what I was just saying earlier about how they use black people, man. They use black people. Black people sell themselves out for the bag, man. Time they see some money. Oh, yeah, we'll do it. We'll do it. You know they ain't just doing that vax that ass up song just because they promoting it, man. And you know that shit. No, I see that from a, a country uh, uh, singer uh, uh, promoting that shit. Not no black, especially not no juvenile and man and fresh. You know they got to be some money um, be given to them young men, man. They using our celebrities to take us down, man. And y'all can't even see it. Most of them niggas got got they uh got their money and they don't give a damn about no other nobody else. You got all these multi million dollar rappers and celebrities. Nobody shouldn't be poor in America, man. I didn't say everybody need to be rich, but nobody shouldn't be poor in America. When you got got the people giving away millions and millions of dollars through the lottery, through the pick three, half a billion dollars, you can go to the store and, and become a millionaire instantly. Y'all got that kind of money to give away. Well, how in the hell is anybody poor and living in poverty? If y'all are able to give that kind of money, y'all say it's only 40-some million people in America, black people, 47 million black people. Why is people living in poverty? NBA players, all the athletes overpaid millions and millions of dollars, man. And you got people out here hungry. Like they, some of these people, they done stopped the, um, the rent, the eviction rent stuff I saw on there. So, so think about, I think they extend that though. I think I had saw on the news that it's extended. I don't know how long, man. But you got all these black people out here and white people got all this money. How how's anybody living in poverty?
I don't understand it, man. Then you're paying all your tax money in. Did, let me tell y'all something. Did y'all know that y'all that the police station get get um funded through y'all taxes? People who working, you can go buy a package of chicken and pay taxes on that. That taxes tax that's on that chicken, that money go. That's some of that money go to the police station. That's how they get funded through the taxes. They get a budget from the state off of people paying in taxes in. So in other words, you, you, me and you pay for the uh, police and all, and the judge and all these people up in these high seats. We pay for their paychecks through the taxes we pay. Some of y'all didn't even know that. I know some of y'all did, but a lot of y'all didn't even know that. So, these race soldiers out here, these police with these badge on, these blue boys, whoever y'all call them, we all pay for them to harass us. Some of these people, some of the elderly people, and people in general are scared to even call these folks out here, man. Because you can call them out here for one thing, They'll come with a whole different attitude. You can't even... It's, it, the black community, most of them is scared to even call the police. When they hear the police, they get scared. And we're not even supposed to feel that way. We should be able to call them and tell them our problem. They're supposed to come out here and handle it. But they come out with a whole nother energy. It's like they just hoping something go wrong. And most of the time they turn it into make it in some some a whole nother scene. You call them with a whole something something else, they'll turn it around and you like, damn, how did that transform into this? And I call them out here for that. Cause they want they that's what they design. I feel like that's what they train to do. They not trained to protect us black people. They trained to hurt us. People, homes and stuff getting broken in, cars getting broken in. They done got so bad, man, they taking Cadillac converters off of cars and stuff, man. But, you know, somehow they never see that kind of stuff. They never see nobody climbing to a, to nobody window breaking in their car. But somehow they can see you when you ain't got no seatbelt on. They can see you when you ain't got no tags. They can see you when you don't make a complete stop at a stop sign but the things that they really need to see somehow they don't even see it and it ain't gonna never stop man it's until we come together and it's gonna take a whole lot of us most of these celebrities them the ones that can make some make some changes because them the ones that they worship all of the black people A lot of these people's voices are strong, man. And they really shouldn't even be that way, man, because at the end of the day, you know better than me. You just got a lot of fame and fortune. But at the end of the day, you ain't no better than me. But y'all make them feel that way. Y'all build them up to feel this way. Cause I don't look at, I never have looked at no celebrity as, I'm going to say God, because that's how most of y'all look up, look at Adam as God. Listen here, as much money the black community give Jordan every year, just him alone can pull all these black people out of poverty. All the money, this man worth a billion dollars, man. And they say it's only 42 million black people in the, in the United States of America. He can give everybody a million or two million dollars and pull all his people, just him alone, and still be good. 
he can write that off as tax money. As much as y'all niggas out there spin with this man that don't even like that, that said that he didn't even make his shoes for poor, poor black people. You don't hear him talking. He don't give back. He studied making. I'm gonna show you how dumb y'all is. Y'all studied buying old shoes, and he studied going up on the price. That's what I was talking about. How y'all put these celebrities on a pedestal, man. Michael Jordan ain't no legend to me, man. He might be to y'all, but he's not no legend to me. I don't even look at him as like that. I don't even. I don't even support. His stuff. Never have. Yeah, there's some shoes that I like, but I don't really just support. I don't even, Jordan don't even be a, I don't even talk about Jordan like that. I don't even know when he's going to drop his shoes unless I see it on the internet or somebody tell me, man. These, a lot of these celebrities don't mean us no good. Because if they did, they'll be helping they some of them ain't even helping they their own family members. What's the use of being rich when you can't control your own money? I don't even want it if I if I, if I can't control it. But with that being said, y'all need to quit worshiping these celebrities, man. Quit looking at the looking up at the preachers like they God. Cause at the end of the day, we gonna all be judged, even me. And we ain't no better than one another. Ain't nobody better than the, than the next person. Sometimes you be hearing some crazy shit, man. You do. You go to a concert, man. You go. I'm just using him as an example because it's first person come to my mind. You go to a money bag yo concert. You hear all these females, oh money bag yo, just worshiping this man. This man, most this man don't even. You, y'all got to understand, females. This man. Most of y'all ain't even on this dude level. This dude done made it, man. He wants somebody who on his level. He, he don't even acknowledge normal people most of the time. Now, I ain't saying all the celebrities like that, but most of them just get real, real high. They don't even know because they not on your level. Like P. Diddy and all them high profile, you, they, you're not on their level. No matter how much they talk about black this, black that, you not on their level. They on some big boy shit. You know why? Because y'all put them like that. Y'all the one built their head up like that. Make him feel like that he's better. And now he went, went before he got rich, he wasn't acting like that. But now most of these motherfuckers is multi damn near billionaires. And I'm guilty of it too, because I done bought some some uh CDs and cassettes back in my time. But if I know what I know now, I wouldn't have never bought that shit. I would have recorded that shit. That's why you live and learn. But some of us don't never learn. But hey, I hope y'all like this video, man. I got some more coming out. I'm kind of behind on, on rolling out. I know the day is hump Wednesday, and I'm kind of behind, man. I've been kind of busy, and then, and then I've been having trouble with my phone, man. But I appreciate y'all very much video, subscribing, like, cash app is dollar sign, M-O-N-K. No, wait, this dollar sign cash with a K. Dollar sign cash with a K A S H M O N K. That's dollar sign cash 
with a K, K A S H M O N K. I appreciate appreciate y'all for supporting my channel, man. I probably gonna do a, try to do another short video later on, man, because I got it. I'm kind of behind this week, man. I should this should be this should have been my my third video, man. But I appreciate y'all, man, for for viewing my channel, share, subscribe, comment. I just appreciate y'all, man. I'll get back with y'all later on. Have a good day.